I don't think anyone's so seen happened? this. Did Garrett arrest you? I haven't seen this. Yeah. After I came to, the bastard had clocked me with his colt. And the kid surrendered? When he realized there was no getting out of there alive. So they locked you up in Lincoln? Indeed they did. Fuck, Sends did I skip the beginning right movie too? With the kid. Fuck. You're all logging in, Loggins. This is the end of mission two, and I just wanted to redo mission three because it was really bad. So I, I started the whole game over because I went on to mission four and I was like, I'm not happy with that. So here we are back in mission three. So where'd you go after Lincoln? Mexico. Until I realized nobody was looking for me. I ended up taking a job at the Rurales. The Mexican Rurales? I was hired to help them track down the cowboys. The most vicious outlaw gang in Cochise County? Curly Bill Brocious, Johnny Ringo? Led by old man Clanton himself. They must have paid you a pretty penny to take them hombres on. Not really. But truth be told, I had my own reasons for going after those boys. Alright. Yeah, I kinda fucked up real bad during this one. It wasn't really even fun. So was the bastard you were after now riding with the cowboys? Roscoe Bob Bryant was his name. Oh. But no, this time it was a different bastard I was after. The aforementioned Mr. Ringo. I came upon them robbing a stagecoach, which wasn't surprising being they were such murderous thieves and bastards. The bandits wore red scarves, so I knew they worked for the old man. Over there! There! He got <laughs> I did my best to help those poor Ooh. passengers. <laughs> Moments later, the attackers were dead. And I checked the stagecoach to see how many passengers were still breathing. None. It was then I wondered if the scale. rocks weren't hiding more bandits. Was that all of them? Or did I just hit the rear guard? I quickly got my answer. They attack from on high like Apache's offense. So you just follow all these things, and then everything's A-OK. -okay. Dang it. Oh, I just get that. OK, cool. They would appear in great numbers from above and rain down lead on their hapless enemies' heads. Making use of the high ground, whatever else they had. Yep, the Apaches always appeared out of nowhere, and there never seemed to be an end to them. I haven't really Hold on. figured out headshots from the low ground. What happened to the cowboys? Did I say they were Apaches? I said Clanton's cowboys attacked me Apache style. I was in a pitched battle, but I was holding my own against an overwhelming enemy force. Mm. Sign up. Oh. I just double tap? No. See, at the time, I was still pretty green, but all blunder into regrettable situations. But I just kept shooting at anything I could see up in those damn rocks. I didn't see Ringo, but I knew he was with the Cowboys. He and Roscoe Bob had done me a dreadful wrong, and I was determined to have my revenge. But to get to Ringo, I knew I'd have to find my way past these other assholes first. Trying to focus on these shots here. I know they're not the best. I was running out of ammo. 
Oh. Another perfect so example I can do that. of my relative inexperience as a hunter of men. I immediately knew that a tactical retreat was called for, as my vengeful fury was much less uh. impressive without the bullets to back it up. Ah, uh, fuck. Uh. Okay, it's not as bad as last time. I assure you. I got four shots left, man. Finally, they managed to corner. I got two shots left. Trapped as I was, to my survival seemed pretty slow. Luckily, oh, serendipity man. was on my side as I suddenly spotted a way out of my predicament. Oh! If you come at that from a different angle, you cannot see that cave entrance. I ran ahead as if the devil himself was after me. Bullets were whizzing by my ears, but I wasn't about to roll over and die. I just kept running like there was no tomorrow. Because there wouldn't be if Clanton and his men caught up with me. I fucked up this As part too. I was scurrying too. around those caves, I thought. What was that? Thing? Going up against a gang like this. That doesn't seem high enough to get fall damage for that. That's bullshit. A dead man. I just kept running, not oh, knowing like, where the hell I was going. And that's when something miraculous happened. Like mana from heaven. That I literally found the felt desiccated like the remains of what looked like an Apache warrior. The old weapon next to him supplied me with some much needed ammunition. Those parts are cool. Bat Masterson once told me it was more important to be lucky than good. And he would know. I don't know who that is. And imagine my surprise when I found a fistful of dynamite to go along with that. That stroke of good fortune evened the odds and bolstered my confidence. It was time to turn the tables. Time for the prey to become the predator. Okay. Time for the hunted to become let's, the hunter. Let's calm down there. Time. All right, Jesus, we get it. They were right where you wanted them. That's right, Jack. I was done running. And the old man's boys were not expecting that. No, sir. Huh. I came at them like a wildcat. My fury knew no bounds. It was finally time for that old man to pay for his sins. Come on to let him finish. I fucked up here so many times. More like two. Once. Twice. Twice. I yelled out at the top of my lungs. Clanton, I'm coming for you! A little stealth might have made more sense, to be perfectly honest. Because that old fool had a gallon gun and enough bullets to last him till kingdom come. But I knew I could not let that deter me. Not if I was to find and kill Ringo. Would you dead? I needed to get that old man off that gun. I thought he was about to say gonorrhea. Oh, the gonorrhea got me. Can't shoot no good no more. Oh, I can find him from here. Most everyone thought it was the Ruales who had come up against him in Guadalupe Canyon. But it was just me. Right, let's just shoot him with my gun. Mm -mm. That's not how you do that. Fuck! You 
gotta... I don't know if I can drag it, but I have to... To control recoil, I mean. It looks like it's just a pause kind of thing. Apparently one of the cowboys made it out of there alive. Ooh and told Ike and Billy Clanton that it wasn't a Mexican who took their father's life that day. They just assumed it was one of the Earps. And that little misunderstanding eventually led to that legendary gunfight at the OK Corral. Got a skill point at the end there. No nuggets, though. Okay. I feel better about that one, because there's less deaths. Like, a lot. Alright. If you guys like to give it a like, if you guys are new sub, thanks for logging in, logins, Gearock logging out.